Hey creators, I'm Dave Brat, co-founder and CEO of Backstage Army. I'm super excited that you're starting your Backstage today. It's the best place for you to hang out with your super fans, to collaborate with them, and to finally monetize your fandom. On behalf of my entire team at Backstage Army, I want to welcome you to the platform. I hope you have a great time using Backstage. And I just cannot wait to see all the amazing things you and your fans could do together. To help you get started on Backstage, I want to tell you how to use different parts of the platform. Specifically, I want to go over setting up your Backstage, inviting your fans, creating posts, challenges, hype links, and exclusives. But before I go into all these details, I want to tell you a little bit about how the core mechanics of the platform work. At the core of the Backstage platform is a loop that drives all of the value on Backstage. This loop helps you create deep relationships with your fans. This loop helps you tap into your fans' creativity and turn them into your teammates. And ultimately, this loop helps you run a long-term, sustainable creative business. The loop has three distinct stages. The first stage is where your fans engage with you and demonstrate their loyalty. They do this by engaging with the content that you post on Backstage. For example, commenting on your posts, participating in challenges and hyperlink missions, and so on. The more effort a fan puts in, the more loyal they are. In the second stage, fans are rewarded for their loyalty with loyalty coins. These loyalty coins act as a currency in your Backstage, and of course, they act as a measurement of how loyal a fan is. The more coins a fan has, the more loyal they are. In the third and the final stage of the loop, fans spend the loyalty coins that they've earned to redeem exclusive access to you. When a fan reaches this stage for the first time, they experience something that they have never experienced before. It's a sense of accomplishment. For the first time, they feel like they can get something in return for their loyalty. As a fan spends more and more time in this loop over and over again, your relationship with them deepens and their loyalty for you increases over time. Now that you know how the basic mechanics of the Backstage platform work, let's get started with how to actually use the platform. If you're part of the Creator Partner Program, someone from my team has already created an account for you, and they've also done the initial setup for your Backstage. At this point, if you don't already have the app on your phone, go ahead and download it and log in with your phone number. I highly recommend that you watch the rest of this video while you're running the app on your phone so that you can follow along everything that I'm about to show you. All right, so once you have the app and you log in with your phone number, the app will take you to your Backstage. Take a moment to recognize the different parts of your Backstage. For example, the banner image, uh, the name of your Backstage, and the description of your Backstage. To set up your Backstage exactly to your liking, click on the gear icon at the bottom left corner of the banner image and this should take you inside the settings panel for your Backstage. If you tap on basic details, you can change the banner image, name of your Backstage, and the description of your Backstage. From this very screen, you can also set up and configure how loyalty coins work inside your Backstage. To create your loyalty coin, click on Create Your Coin, and give your coin a name. Name it something fun and relatable for your fans. Something that your fans will cherish accumulating. Once you've got your name down, swipe right to create your coin. Congratulations, you now have your own loyalty coin on Backstage. Now all that's left to do is to configure how many coins fans will earn by doing different activities on Backstage. You can stay with the default numbers that the app shows you, or you can make changes to it. You can always come back to the screen at a later point in time and make changes that you want. Once you're ready, hit Save Changes, and now the platform will automatically start rewarding fans for doing different activities on the platform. This concludes how to set up your Backstage. Now that your Backstage is set up, let's create a post so that any fans joining your Backstage don't land up in an empty space. To create a post, Bring up the Create menu by tapping on the green icon at the bottom right corner of your screen. Now select Post, and you should land up in the Create Post screen. You can type text in the post. You can also attach media from your phone's library. Once your post looks just right, tap on the Post button to make it live. 
the app takes a few moments to upload everything to the servers, and once that's done, your post is live. You can also schedule posts in advance. To schedule a post, when your post is ready, instead of tapping the post button, tap on the schedule button. Choose the time when you want the post to go live and tap on schedule. That's just it. You can go back to your scheduled posts by bringing up the create menu and tapping on schedule posts. This brings up all of your scheduled posts that are yet to go live. Here you can edit your scheduled posts or you can even decide to take them live right away. Now that you know how to create a post, go ahead and create your first post on Backstage. Typically your first post on Backstage would be about you welcoming your new fans on Backstage and inviting them to engage with you in the comments section. The next thing we want to create is a challenge. Challenges are a great way for you to collaborate with your fans. You can use challenges to get your fans to participate in your creative process. We've seen creators invite content ideas from their fans. We've also seen creators invite their fans to create content and then they've used this content in their own YouTube videos. Sometimes creators also use challenges as just as a fun activity for everyone to participate in. It's a very versatile tool and you can use it in many different ways to get your fans involved with you in ways that have never been possible before. To create a challenge, bring up the create menu and tap on challenge. Now, on the create challenge screen, you might notice that this is very different from the create post screen. You have a lot more things to play with. First off, you want to give your challenge a title and a description. You can then select how long you want the challenge to run for. You can decide what kind of responses you want your fans to give. Text, photos, or videos. In this case, I'm going to leave the response type as photos since I want my fans to submit memes. Finally, you can specify the rewards for the winners of the challenge. The rewards are totally up to you. A lot of creators offer custom rewards to their fans, but we've also seen creators just offer coins to the winners. And of course, just like any other post, challenges can also have media attached to them, which makes them look nice. Once you're happy with your challenge setup, tap on post and the app gets to work on making your challenge live. Once fans have submitted responses, you can review all of their submissions. On Backstage, fans can upvote each other's challenge responses. So when you review the responses, the responses are sorted automatically in the order of the highest upvoted response to the lowest. The highest upvoted submissions are usually the best. You can shortlist the responses you like and from the shortlisted submissions, you can decide the winners for your challenge. Once you're done picking your winners, hit on finalize winners to announce the winners of your challenge on your backstage. This automatically creates a post on your backstage and tags all the winners. You can also download all of the submissions so that you can use them in your own content. Another fun way to get your fans involved is to launch hypelink missions. Hypelinks essentially turn your fans into your hype squad. You can get them to drive traffic to any link of your choice on the internet. The platform automatically keeps track of which fan is bringing in how much traffic and it automatically creates a leaderboard. Let's see this in action. Imagine you've launched a YouTube video and you want your fans to bring in more traffic on this latest video. Hypelinks is perfect for this. Bring up the create menu and tap on Hypelink. Set a title and description for your Hypelink mission. Paste the link that you want your fans to hype up. Set a target for your mission. In this case, I want my fans to bring in 10,000 hits. So I'm gonna set it to 10,000. I can also set an end date for the mission. And finally, I can set the awards for the mission. And that's just it. Tap on post, and in just a few moments, your Hypelink mission will be live for your fans to participate in. When your fans participate in a Hypelink mission, they get their own unique links, which they can share in their own social circles. The platform keeps track of how many clicks each fan is bringing in, and it automatically creates a leaderboard, which everyone can see. Finally, we've come to the part that's most exciting for your fans, and that is Backstage Exclusives. Head on over to the Exclusives tab in the app and tap on Create. You can see that you can create exclusives of different kinds. I have some exclusive behind the scenes footage, so I'm gonna launch a video exclusive. Let's give this exclusive an appealing title. I'm gonna set the price to 200 coins, and I'm also gonna add a little bit more detail about the exclusive in the description box. 
I can either make an unlimited number of copies of this exclusive available to my fans, or I can limit the number of times this exclusive can be redeemed, which effectively limits the number of people who can have access to this. In this case, the footage that I'm sharing is super exclusive, and I don't want everyone to have access to this. So I'm going to set the limit to 10. Let's hit the next button and upload the exclusive video right from my phone. While the video is getting uploaded, let me type in a message that fans will see right after they have redeemed the exclusive. Alright, the video is uploaded now. I can tap on the next button and see all the details of my exclusive. Everything looks great. I'm going to swipe and create this exclusive. And that's it. Now 10 of my fans can unlock this exclusive for 200 coins each and have access to this behind the scenes footage. Of course, I can launch more exclusives by tapping on the plus button. Now that we have some content live on our backstage, it's time to start inviting fans. Tap on the person icon with a plus sign. Here you can see the link for your backstage landing page. This is the link that you want to bring your fans on. Go ahead and copy this link and share it with your fans. You can create a post on Instagram, you can create a story on Instagram, you can create a post on your YouTube community tab, you can do it on a live stream on YouTube or Twitch. I also recommend that you add this link in your social bios so that your fans can easily discover it. When your fans visit this landing page, they can see a preview of your backstage, learn how backstage works, and finally apply to have access to your backstage. When fans apply to be part of your backstage, you will see badges appear next to the person icon. Tapping on this icon will take you to all your pending requests. You can review the requests one by one or you can accept them all in one go. Once you approve a fan's request to join your backstage, they will get their private invite code and all the instructions they will need to join your backstage. As your fans start coming in and start engaging with you, discover the joy of having a direct relationship with your fans like never before. This concludes your crash course on how to get started on backstage. I know this was a lot to take in in one go, so it's okay if you don't remember it all you can always come back and re-watch all of it. If you have a question or if you get stuck anywhere, reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you. Hope you and your fans have a great time using Backstage. Keep creating and more importantly, keep having fun. Bye for now.